My name is Rachel Sharp. I'm in the neuroscience department, but I am doing the computational biology certificate program, and I'm mentored by a bioinformatician named Michael Love. After I graduate, I'm interested in being a science communicator and or science mentor. Um, and so that means that I would be the go-between between between scientists and people trying to actually use the science because scientists do a lot of cool things every day, but it's hard to talk to people about that and see how it could be useful. So I'd be uh, communicating between scientists and maybe companies or scientists in schools or scientists and uh, policymakers to try to get these changes enacted in a way that people can use them. And then mentoring would be very similar to that, but working with younger people to um, help them get excited about a career in science and see uh, what they might want to do with it. The degree in neuroscience, there's actually, I feel like, a lot of options. Um, similar to what I was saying before, there's a lot of options in science writing. So that could involve working with journals or working with uh, conference centers and editing articles or helping to um, communicate between um, the journal and people who are creating the science to get those articles written and organized. You could also, of course, work at an institution as a PI and run your own lab. You can also work at nonprofits. There's a lot of places where neuroscientists are needed, their opinions are needed in nonprofit advocacy. Um, and you could even work in the government, helping to influence policymaking decisions. I would say that it's really important just to really follow your passions to allow yourself to explore different things. I think a lot of people get tied down thinking that they have to make the right choice the first time, and that's definitely not true. I've made a lot of shifts. I studied psychology and criminology, and then I worked as a bioinformatician, and then I switched what I studied several times, and now I'm looking in science communication. And so that's all within science, but it's very different. There's lots of opportunities, and don't be afraid to change your focus if what you're doing at the moment isn't feeling right to you anymore.